Hello, vinyl lovers. Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed. Today, I'm going to show you my most expensive and valuable vinyl records in my collection. But before I get into that, if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you can continue to follow my musical obsession. I was looking through Discogs because I was interested to know about the value of some of my records. And I was surprised to find some of the prices. Now, as we all know, Discogs is just one source to find out how much your records are worth. And sometimes things are listed on Discogs and somebody is going to say, listen, I'm not paying that much for that record or that record is really not worth that much. I understand. But when I went on to Discogs, I looked for uh, the copy that I had, the version that I had, and I looked for a copy that was in the same condition as the one that I have. And again, this is what Discog says. So keep that in mind as I'm going through these records. And I've got eight records I'm going to show you. I'm going to sh show you the least expensive to the most expensive. And I do have a couple box sets in here as well. So the first album is uh, Donovan's. And this is his album from a flower, a gift from a flower to a garden. Okay, now you see this a lot at thrift stores. Okay, the problem with it is it's usually not in good condition. Well, my copy is the box is in great condition. There's just a little bit of wear. There is no tearing to it at all. And the vinyl is um, near mint. And it's on this yellow Epic label. And a lot of times with this record, when you find it, it either doesn't have the inserts or the inserts, some of them are missing or they're ripped. Well, I have all the inserts in the booklet, all the cards that go with it, and they are in perfect condition. So let me tell you how much this album is going for. $100. Pretty cool. And with all these albums, I did not pay what Discogs is saying that they are worth. So Donovan, A Gift from a Flower to a Garden, Psychedelic Classic, going for around $100. Okay, next. If you watch my channel, you know I'm really into the SST label. Well, there's a band that released one album on the SST label, and they are called The Subhumans. And this is their 1983 album called No Wishes, No Prayers. Now, this is the Canadian band, The Subhumans. There's also a British band called The Subhumans. They're both punk bands, but this is the Canadian version of them. Okay, this um, album is going for $110. Okay. Awesome Punk, again, this is on the SST label. Let me show you what the label looks like. Okay. So, very cool stuff. If you're into 80s punk, definitely check out the Subhumans. All right, next. On the SST label, one of my favorite bands, Black Flag. Now, you might be saying, okay, My War, great, I have that record too. But do you have the misprint version? This is the misprint version. And what they did is they listed the Swinging Man before Forever Time. But really, Forever Time comes before the Swinging Man. All right? And it's also listed on the label as well. This little bad boy, or bad Larry, as JC would say, is going for around $112. Okay, this again is on the SST label. All right. Original pressing. I would say mine is in probably VG plus condition. Okay. Moving on. Let's do some psychedelic rock, shall we? An album from 1968 by the psychedelic band Ultimate Spinach. This is their second album uh, entitled... Behold and See. Now, this is a repress on Sundays. Okay. I was just interested to see what the repress was going for. $125. And I still have the shrink. I still have the uh, hype sticker that goes with it. I'll show you what the vinyl looks like. 
This actually is colored, which is pretty cool. So Ultimate Spinach, Behold and See, the repress on Sundays, going for around $125. And again, you might be asking yourself, you know, would you pay that much for some of these records? I don't know. Maybe somebody would. Okay. Let's go to the 80s. And uh, a rock band from the 80s called Hurricane Alice. This is their album, Tear the House Down. Okay. Check those guys out. You know what you're going to hear. All right. You might be saying to yourself, okay, Hurricane Alice. They look a little like Warrant. All right. This is on the Atlantic label. How much could this really be going for? Let me tell you. $130 on the Atlantic label. Hurricane Alice. Great album, actually, too. Is it worth $130? I don't know. You tell me. All right, now, the last three. This next one has a little backstory. Uh, the library that is near me was having a uh, record sale. All the records were 50 cents. Okay, so... Keep that in mind, 50 cents. Look at what I picked up for 50 cents. An original pressing of Dark Side of the Moon in near mint condition with all of the inserts for 50 cents. I just looked up on Discogs, $140. I'd say that was pretty good. So uh, very cool. And again, for those of you, we know this record, right? And uh, I'll just show you what the vinyl looks like. And I'll show you what's in here. Okay, there's the vinyl. Like I said, near mint. And a lot of times when you find this, it doesn't have the inserts that go with it, like the two posters. But I'm not going to open these up, but there are two posters that go along with the album. And a lot of times these are not found within. Uh, this also has the stickers that go with it. And the stickers have not been peeled off at all. Okay, so yeah. Pink Floyd for 50 cents worth what Discog is saying, $140. Now, a couple box sets. I'm a big Motorhead fan and um, I saw Motorhead live actually. This is their uh, box set, Box of Magic. Okay, and this includes The World Is Yours on white vinyl. It includes Aftershock, Bad Magic, a silver picture disc, and it also includes Clean Your Clock with uh, its double vinyl with pop-up art. <clears throat> I was trying to think of how much I originally I paid for this. I think I paid about 80 bucks for this. It's going for $250 on Discogs right now. So pretty cool. Uh, love Motorhead, great box set, and, uh, you know, it's great to have all these albums together. And last but not least, my number one most valuable al album in my collection happens to be a box set. And uh, this is one of my, it could be my favorite album from the 90s. I call it the White Album of the 90s, and that is Smashing Pumpkins, Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. Now, this is the vinyl box set. Okay. And this is in near mint condition. And if you know the Smashing Pumpkins, if you know Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness, you know how good this record is. Getting harder to find. Let me tell you how much Discogs is saying this is worth. $300. So pretty cool. Um, again, I was interested. I started to look through. I'm sure there's a couple other records that I have that are uh, maybe a little less than $100, maybe in the uh, $80, $90 range, but I wanted to show anything that was above $100. So again, this is what Discogs is saying. Who knows if anybody would actually pay some of these prices, but it's still interesting to see. What are some of the most valuable records in your collection? I'd love to know. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.